I would like to thank the finance minister for the opportunity he has given to us to introduce this motion in this house this day. We take note of the economic program outlined by the Prime Minister a few days ago. We also take note of the fact that the Finance Minister has asked us to take into account not only the statement that is laid on the table of the House listing the 20-point program by the Prime Minister but also to take into account the current economic situation a review of which I think was presented to the House the other day. That is what I propose to do. If you permit me, I would like to divide my speech into two parts. One that will deal with the 20 point program and the economic survey taken together and then the other going beyond the 20 point program and possibly even the economic survey into a long range perspective of what we want to do as far as the economic development is concerned. As far as the 20 point program is concerned, I think there are some exceptions. I do not think there is anybody either on this side of the house or on the other side of the house or even among those who are not present here in this house who would take exception to any of the items that are listed in the 20 point program. I would not therefore like to comment on them. I would like to classify them as those that deal broadly with some aspects of the rural sector, some aspects of a planning program and inflation, the student community and some aspects of industrialization. Obviously, they do not cover the full extent of the economic program. I would like to comment on such of the items which require comments for their implementation. One is about the land ceilings to be made effective. I understand from the current economic survey that the central government have written to all the state governments to see to it that the land reforms legislations which have been introduced and passed are implemented by them. I would like to know from the minister whether we will get a white paper on this in this house or do we get a document. I remember when I was in the planning commission I had something to do with special documents being published on the subject of land reforms which I think created a great deal of interest and gave an impetus for the implementation of the land reform programs in the states. Even though the ceiling may be seen in theory, in actual fact it is not being observed in practice. I do not have to go into details. How do we know whether they are observed in practice unless we have some local machinery such as the village committees or committees of people dealing with the local areas before whom suggestions are made to have a watch over it. Many sessions 
have been made and i do not want also to take much time of the house because in the evening the finance minister has to speak i would like to give a few suggestions because the economic program and the emergency measures have been welcomed by the people now the fear in the mind of the people especially the common man is supposing this emergency is removed what will happen they want these emergency measures to continue and for that i think this 20 point program will be quite helpful and a guiding factor the basic things which people expect from this 20 point program are shelter food cloth housing and employment this is the minimum which the people of this country expect there is another aspect on which i want to place my views before this house and that is about women there is a lot of unemployment among women we want to give women equal status and everybody now and then inside this house and outside always says that women must be given equal opportunities in every walk of life it is also emphasized that unless they become economically independent they cannot assert themselves dear sir i am very happy to know that the government of india has taken up a special drive for filling up of all vacancies kept reserved for scheduled castes and scheduled tribes in all the central government offices and public sector organizations it is said that within 3 months about 2000 posts out of 3000 vacant have been filled it is no doubt a remarkable progress within so short a period of 4 months between june and september this year the government of india needs to be congratulated on this there is a report from certain quarters that this is to be pursued further according to central government sources they are doing their best they say that steps have been taken to fill up these vacancies 2 years ago whatever it may be the general public are interested in filling up of the vacancies as some people are provided with employment this will also be helpful for improving the general economic state of the country by way of circulation of more money in the economy another very important factor that should be considered here is that the central government may also take similar action to fill up all the vacancies belonging to general category if statistics are collected there will be some 1000 posts vacant in different categories steps have to be taken on similar lines to fill up all such vacancies i am sure that this kind of action will always be helpful not only for the economic development of the country but would also result in quick social change the most important aspect is that the state governments should also initiate urgent steps to fill up all the existing vacancies i hope that necessary action would be initiated at an early date 
Yours faithfully.